The Summer Olympics, well, they're quickly approaching, and many can't wait to see what the athletes have in store. But to get us a little better prepared for some of the sports, we check in with the Valley Today's Abby Furchner. She joins us live this morning with the start of our Olympic series. Good morning, Abby. Good morning, Lisa and Jordan. I'm here with Sage D'Ambrosia, the assistant diving coach here at MSUM. And diving is one big sport in the Summer Olympics. You'll be able to catch it when they're out in Tokyo this summer. I'm so excited for it. But I know that, you know, there's a lot that goes into the sport that people may not know about. I know it looks cool when they're flying through the air, but it's really about the skill and talent. How much do you guys practice here just on the collegiate level? So we practice six days a week, wow. um, Monday through Saturday. and. It's just about putting in a good amount of repetitions yeah. and trying to perfect everything that we're doing. Because I know on that scoring scale, you want to aim for that perfect 10. But what a lot of people might not know is each skill, you're getting rated on your difficulty as well. So yes. even if you're doing a hard skill, but you mess up, are you just taking away from that 10 or are you taking away from that difficulty as well? Well, so the difficulty stays the same. You take away from okay. the, the 10. It kind of multiplies everything by the difficulty. So. Oh, if, you mess up on a really easy dive, it's a lot worse than messing up on a really <laughs> yeah. hard dive. Yeah, I would agree with that. But Lexi, one of the divers here at MSUM, she's going to be showing us a skill. What is she going to be showing us right she's now? She's going to be doing a back one and a half with one and a half twists. Oh my goodness. Okay, that sounds, that sounds extremely hard. Wow, and she just made that look so easy. So from yeah. start to finish, though, you are being judged. Mm -hmm. Judged from the height, the distance wow. from the board, toe point, how you enter the water. I could never do this. So that was impressive to me. And I'm sure it's impressive to everybody at home too, because that takes a lot of skill and a lot of practice. But those are just some of the dives you'll be able to see at the Olympics this summer. I want to have a Dancing with the Stars moment where I have like a panel and we just hold it up and you can be like 10. I know, and, uh, I, I would give her a high score. That looked great. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. we shut up. Yeah, Abby Birchner reporting live this morning. Thank you very much. Let's get